Well, good morning. I've got an interesting update for uh, the old fishing epic fail on the previous video that I made. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, so in my last video, I was talking about, you know, my, uh, my friend and brother uh, who owns a business, and he and he and another brother uh, uh, in Christ, brothers in Christ, okay, um, make uh, these, these baits. They make baits. It's kind of a side gig, side hustle. And although I, yeah, I would love to go and visit, visit with him, uh, you know, I was jokingly saying, you know, he's just going to upsell me the products that they, they sell. Uh, to get a fishing license. Well, come to find out, last night at Bible study at the house, uh, uh, <laughs> my, uh, my, my, uh, uh, nephew-in-law, Mark, he, I was telling him my woes about uh, this this epic fail of going to Walmart, being overwhelmed, and walking out not buying nothing, right? And he says, "Well, why don't you just go talk to this business owner, that, you know, that I I had mentioned in the previous video um, that I wasn't going to visit at this time? Why don't you go visit him?" Go, you know, go to his business. They're selling basic tackle and rods and reels and stuff there. I said, wait. I said, He's been a client of mine for, for years. I've never seen anything like that other than, you know, they're the, the making making these worms. Well, I said, well, I'll be a son of a gun. I think the Lord is telling me, hey, you need to go visit your brother in Christ and... Uh, and have him help guide you through the, the the waters to find the appropriate tackle for you. So, of course, it's you know it's seven thirty in the morning right now. I don't think his business is open, but I'm gonna go drive by anyway and take a look. Anyway, so how about that full circle? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna. Well, I'm I'm coming around and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna talk to my brother in Christ at his business and, <laughs> and see if the the if he can impart the wisdom and guidance re, that I require or need in order to make the uh, you know proper fiduciarily responsible choices for the tackle of which I want to do okay that was a lot of words solid right there um so yeah so i'm gonna go and uh and and, and drive by and uh pull in their parking lot they got a big parking lot so i might as well just pull in their parking lot and uh by golly if they're open i'm gonna go in there and seek seek the wisdom of the master uh jelly worm maker and see what uh, see what he can do for me. I'm not confident that they're open right now, but uh, you know, hey, he could be out fishing. Who knows? Well, or building the chicken house, or delivering. Who knows what he's doing? Uh, I mean, th this fellow and you know his family are busy all the time doing stuff uh, with three three stores in three different towns so he's all eh, he's probably busy having breakfast I mean come on it's only 7.35 in the morning now but I'm going to pull in and see if anybody's here and I don't think I don't think he's going to be here but I'll check anyway well there's a couple of couple of rigs here so we'll see how see how it goes here I don't know who these fellows or these trucks belong to 
but I don't see their open shine light up. Uh, so I guess I'll come back. I'll come back and I'll check back with you later. Okay, see ya. Well, just went into my brother's uh, brother in Christ's uh, business here, and yes, indeed, they they have various rods and reels and all kinds of tackle and stuff uh, based on my brother from Bible study last night. But here's the catch. My brother that uh, runs this business, owns this business, he's at the lake. And unless it's raining, he ain't coming in. Uh, I think it would probably have to monsoon for him to leave the lake. So I asked one of the other brothers there. I said, well, I need someone to help walk me through. I don't know nothing about that stuff. That's all the brother that's up at the lakes gig. I said, so you got these products on the wall and you know nothing about them, right? He said, that's right. Don't know nothing. That's all his doing. So, the wise man who sits cross-legged on top of the mountain, who could guide me through what he's got here, is at the lake. So once again, I walked out without nothing because I know I could foolishly spend a thousand dollars buying junk that I have no absolutely no idea what it's all about. So that is that. And until I can find a wise person who has the the secret knowledges of tackle and what I want to do with with rod and reel. I guess that's just not going to do anything, so I'm going to head back to the lab. And there it is. Epic fail number two. Now, I guess I guess I could probably head to another town, but, you know, I, I would much prefer to shop locally and especially shop, uh, you know, my... my my brother in Christ's business there instead of dropping money at the multi-billion dollar corporation here called Walmart I would much prefer to give my money to him and his business but he's at the lake and I don't fault him for that I mean I'm not selfish if I had the opportunity to spend, spend time at the lake I'd spend time at the lake but it doesn't help me on my quest uh, so I guess I'll have to seek someone else out or go somewhere else. Maybe see what I can find elsewhere in another town and leave my money there. If the need arises. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, listen. Uh, if any updates come, I'll let you know. You guys have a blessed day. Hey, be sure to say hi to someone and give a smile to someone. And uh, say a kind word. You might change their life. You never know if someone's headed, headed, headed to go blow their brains out. And your kindness might change their life. So think about that. And it doesn't, doesn't cost you anything. All right. Have a blessed day. Well, well it appears. Uh oh. My nephew's gonna agree that I think the good Lord is trying to tell me uh, now is not the time to buy fishing gear. What do you think? What do you think, Neff? I agree. Okay. I think he's telling you, every time you try to fight, go and look, and your mind gets confused, or you try to talk to people, they're nowhere around. What's that tell you? The odds are against me, right? <laughs> yep. 
The odds are against me. I've been trying to figure out how I could get guided through to buy fishing gear, but uh, it looks like every stumbling block that can come has come. Isn't that about right there, uh, Yeah, yesterday you got confused and nobody talked to you. Today you went to go look for somebody, he's out fishing. Out fishing. What do you do? Okay. I'm overwhelmed. Okay, don't know what to do. I walk away. I get told last night at Bible study, go talk to the brother down there at his business. Okay, well, where is he? Yeah, he's up the lake. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a test of patience. Could be. Could be a test of patience. Now, I don't know if you're picking up what the Neff is saying back here, but I think he, he's in agreement too, right? That yep. maybe the good Lord is just saying, slow down there, rice hopper. Slow down. So I'm going to end this video with this little tag here, that uh, or this little tidbit, not tag, tidbit. Uh, I moved a bunch of junk out of the lab and and uh, been giving it thought, even took a nap on it because, you know, that's where my best thinking comes from. And uh, I think I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I think, I think now is not the time to engage in the purchases and acquisitions of a fishing pole. Maybe need to wait a week, or a day, or a month, or never. Or when it comes to you again, maybe. Or maybe it'll come to me. Maybe someone will come to me and say, here, saw your video. Here's a good little fishing pole for you. Here's some tackle. Here's a worm. Go have, go, go, go fishing. And if, if you do that, if you would just take that generosity one more step and Maybe a, a, a you know a fish scaling board and, and a knife. You know, <laughs> let's just round off the gift. I, I'm not saying that I'm greedy or anything. I'm just saying that you know if we're gonna do it, might as well just do everything. But anything would be absolutely appreciated. All right, well I'm out of here. See ya. Got to figure out. Go do something. And uh, got my dogs around me. Got my nephew behind me. He's working hard. And uh, yeah, beautiful day. Very humid out today. So uh, you know, can't do too much work out there because uh, you know you gotta you gotta be careful. Uh, so hey, love your neighbor. Always uh, you know, always greet someone or meet someone with a smile on your face and a cheerful heart. All right. God love you.